Griffin Aerospace is an aerospace and defense company based in Madison, Alabama, United States. Established in 1995 by Larry French, the company was formed to design, develop, and manufacture a manned composite kit aircraft. Griffin's first aircraft was the single-engine six-seat Lionheart. The design and development began at Larry's home in Harvest, Alabama where he worked designing and developing a composite aircraft formed around the Pratt & Whitney R985 450-horsepower radial engine. The stagger wing design pays complement to the classic Beechcraft 17 stagger wing. Pre-sales of the Lionheart took place in 1995 and 1996 at the annual experimental aircraft show at Oshkosh. Lionheart's first flight was 28 July 1997 and 48 hours later it flew into Oshkosh. The aircraft was featured on the cover of the October 1997 Kit Planes magazine. Enough orders were placed for Larry French to take on Griffin Aerospace as his full-time occupation. The company moved into a 5,000 square foot 460 square meters facility at 901 Nick Fitchard in Huntsville. Griffin also gained some investors who provided working capital for the new company. In 2002, Griffin began to expand into composite structures for NASA applications through a subcontract with Northrop Grumman for composite cryogenic tanks. During that same time period, Griffin also began designing a prototype 130-pound gross-weight unmanned aircraft eventually designated the MQM-170A Outlaw. In February 2003, Griffin submitted a proposal in response to the U.S. Army AMCOM Remotely Piloted Vehicle Target RPVT offering and Griffin was awarded the RPVT contract in August 2003. A few months later Lockheed awarded Griffin a large contract to build a full-scale composite crew capsule. In 2004, the addition of the U.S. Army's new five-year RPVT production contract allowed Griffin Aerospace to expand, producing between 50 and 80 outlaw aircraft per month at one point. Griffin also put together flight crews to fly the unmanned aircraft for the U.S. Army and foreign military customers. As of 2012 Griffin has produced over 3,000 unmanned aircraft and has flown over 110,000 sorties and maintained a loss rate under 1%. In 2009, Griffin Aerospace won the recompete for the Outlaw MQM-170A. Also in 2009, Griffin was awarded a sole source contract for the MQM-171A broadsword a 600-pound gross weight unmanned aircraft. Also in 2009, the U.S. Navy also awarded Griffin Aerospace a contract for the manufacture, operation, and maintenance of a modified version of the Outlaw MQM-170A. As of 2012, Griffin has delivered 500 U.S. Navy aircraft. As of 2018 Griffin has produced over 5,400 UAV aircraft. In August 2012, Griffin was awarded a large ID, IQ contract for aerial target services with U.S. Army Target Management Office. Griffin was awarded the Northrop Supplier of the Year for 2009 for its advanced composite work on the NASA MLAS program. In October 2012, Griffin was awarded a multi-million dollar subcontract from Northrop Grumman to build a sub-scale tank for a NASA risk reduction program. Griffin introduced its Outlaw G-2 aircraft at the 2012 AUVSI show in Las Vegas. The G-2 aircraft will replace the current MQM-170A model aircraft. In April 2010, Griffin Aerospace and U.S. Army officials rolled out the second UAV system, the Broadsword. Topic: Aircraft. Topic: Unmanned aerial vehicles. Topic Outlaw G two E
Topic: Outlaw Sea Hunter. Topic: Targets. Topic: Broadsword. The Broadsword, also known as the Broadsword MQM-171A, is an unmanned aircraft system UAS developed to represent a generic tactical class unmanned aircraft system that could be deployed against the U.S. and Allied forces in the field. Broadsword is a 500-pound class, 17-foot wingspan aircraft. Topic: Outlaw G-1. Topic: Outlaw G-2. The Outlaw G-2, also known as the Outlaw MQM-170 CG-2, is an unmanned aerial vehicle (UAV) and the successor to the Outlaw G-1. The G-2 utilizes many of the key components from the G-1, such as the engine, radio and autopilot control systems. These components are integrated into a larger fuselage that offers increased aerodynamic efficiency and enhanced visual signature, along with a bigger payload area and increased fuel capacity. The Outlaw G-2 is used primarily for weapon systems training in countering airborne threats. The U.S. Army's current, interim and future forces use the RPVT to train soldiers and where appropriate, test new weapon systems and procedures to counter asymmetric threats including unmanned aircraft systems UAS. <laughs> <laughs> Legacy vehicles Topic Lionheart equals equals gallery.